All right, here we go. I've had this one on camera before. This is that uh, three-way IPA that I showed a while back with the nice little characters rocking out together. <clears throat> I'm gonna be using Amaretto uh, Special from the butcher to the barber to kind of close out Moon Soaps Week. So, what did, what did Ken say? Once in a blue what? Once in a blue moon uh, for Moon Soaps Week. So, here I am to bring Moon Soaps to you folks. Their labels are too dope. They cool, bro. So, here we go. Oh, man. The scent on this one is fantastic. It's um kind of that like cherry, almond, liqueur type deal. They say that it has like a like a nutty quality to it. Um, I don't think that nutty quality is like super apparent as the uh, kind of like almond liqueur cherry vibe. But I do think the nutty biscotti type feeling is in there. It makes it a little bit warm and that's nice. Got it loaded up into my Lancaster bowl. We're going to be using our Luton badger brush haven't broke out the lutein in a while now we're gonna be shaving with this commissuri that um lather me whiskers the captain the governor he let me borrow this um awesome commissuri so we're gonna be getting in another commissuri shave today i'm gonna be using the sterling mentholated pre-shave bar just because it's hot as shit like just under 100 and i cut the AC in my room off just so that you wouldn't hear the buzzing on the video so towards the end of this shave I may start sweating like a fucking hog so there's that I'm gonna go ahead and wring out the water from my Luton brush I'll give you a little preview there's the tips there not overly jelly um, but they do clump together just a, ever so slightly but there's that awesome looking bloodwood with um, black walnut and it has of course Luton's signature um, uh, fractal burning going throughout it's a very cool looking brush it's a damn shame that um, Luton isn't making brushes because he honestly had his own like niche in the brush world with that fractal burning and it was just so fucking cool those brushes so cool so he had never I don't think when I ordered he had he told me he had never done kind of like a three-piece um, custom like this he didn't do very many customs to begin with but he was like I've never done a three-piece custom like yours and of course I helped him out with the uh, the design the shape I should say and I chose the woods and it came out fucking awesome I do think the finish is starting to kind of peel back on the uh, walnut specifically but the bloodwood still looks great and this uh, I just added another addition of water because this shaving cream soap is um, kind of thirsty. So, and the scent on this one's bold, probably seven or eight out of ten. It's, it's bold, and I I absolutely love that. People say it's like um like a uh, gourmand scent, and uh, I think it is just because of like the cherry vibe, but. I wouldn't say that it's like so um, over the top. It to me, it, it's kind of um, if if anything, it's kind of a mix of like a gourmand fruity, but it does have enough like warm vibes to make it wearable. If they had like like an aftershave or you know what I mean, or a cologne type deal. Very nice. And this is just soaking it up. 
just soaking up every bit that I'm giving it. That's probably good, to be honest. So let's get some mentholated pre-shave on. So we just got this uh, big ass brick. A little bit. The cheeks, a little bit on the neck. Just cause I went and bought a uh, lawnmower today because my grass is finally getting to the point where I need to mow it. Um, in the front, my grass took off really well. And there's just a little bit of weeds throughout. But I'm kind of wait, waiting for my grass to get um, substantial enough that weed and feed won't kill it. I'll probably get a couple um, a couple cuts in, a couple mowings in before I add any weed and feed. But in the back, I would say the weeds kind of outnumber the uh, the grass. Which is really upsetting because it was not cheap to get that hydro seeded. But hopefully back there when we start getting some mowings in um, and then we add some weed and feed, hopefully we'll start to see the weeds digress in the backyard. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, But at least, uh, at least the front yard looks presentable. And... I'm definitely proud of how far this property has came. The Sterling Mentholate Appreciate doesn't really add a weird mentholated fragrance. I think it's rather mild. It just has kind of like the bare basic chill, which is fine with me. Like. I don't need it to be nothing crazy, especially. It's just kind of like a daily use menthol. It's it's light and it doesn't interfere with your fragrance, I don't think, at all. Not whatsoever, it doesn't interfere. And this Almoretto cream is just very nice. Very nice. Dense and luxurious. And it just fucking, sm it's, it's bold, so you can really smell it. Alright. Got a little bit of slickness on the fingers from the pre-shave. Gotta get it off. Alright. Kamasuri time. I was informed that you can shave with both sides of this. I still kind of don't want it, though. So, I was watching um, Carlitos from his video from the other day, and I was watching um, the Chief this morning, and John Shaves, and Tim. Tim Shaves. We have so much quality content right now. <clears throat> On Friday, I watched CDB and So Sharp David do their real talk. And then afterwards, we jumped into a um, kind of Zoom or a Facebook um, chat room on the Lather and Blade group. And we're just shooting the shit with um, J.R. Gonzalez from the Duda Shaving and Ray Pope and uh, Gonzo from Rockin' and Shaving with Gonzo. CDB was in there and 
Magic Mike was in there. And, um, I mean, Steve Walker was in there. Marion. The Barbarian. I mean, it does not get much better than that. It was so fun. I'm sorry. It was so fun. I'm going to move this away from my eye because I got like a little itch. And I didn't want to get any menthol in there. Sorry about that. Probably looked a little strange. Alright, so here we go. This is where things get a little bit interesting if you're trying to shave with all one side. Paul was telling me to do kind of like this inverted like pencil stroke type thing. I think I might have just cut myself. Hmm. I don't know. I came in a little steep, but I don't see. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. Anyhow, nice little memory line there. I think that inverted will work just fine. All I needed was someone to kind of tell me how to do it, and I'll do it. Because although it shaves on both sides, I kind of keep want to keep it traditional and just shave on the one side like the Japanese barbers would have done. So that was a good first pass. Although I did give myself a memory line with that awkward inverted pass or inverted stroke, I should say. Um, I don't think it was super deep I don't think I pulled back right away but you could see it as the blood kind of comes to the forefront just a little guy <clears throat> at least that tells you it's sharp so moon soaps week has been pretty good success I want to say a lot of people joined in a lot of people you know championing and praising the quality of moon soaps and the service and um, kind of customer appreciation that Melody and Zach give and I think um, there's so many small artisans that that deserve their own week and deserve their own 15 minutes of fame just like moon soaps got because honestly most of them make great products but they're all competing in a crowded marketplace you know and A fucking little spotlight week like this could probably do a lot of good for these small business type, you know, companies. And um, a lot of these ones are really community forward as well, which is something that we should, you know, address and, and try to take care of the ones that take care of us, you know. All right, let me figure out how I'm going to do this. Very nice, very nice. I remember Paul telling me to open up the uh, angle just a little bit with the Kamasuri. So, 
It's definitely what I'm going to attempt to do. Let's see here. And get this lather off. And we will go against the grain. Alright, got a nice streak of red in there. <laughs> Probably bleeding like a sieve because I had quite the drinks last night. After that after that video chat, I hopped off and um, my buddy came over for a cigar and some bourbon. And I had already had some, <laughs> I, at that point, I had already had some beer. And... Um, I already had like five beers and then we switched over to bourbon so you know beer before liquor that's what they say you know do the beer before liquor and you're in the clear <laughs> not not so much damn it I just can't figure out I may gotta do it with this other hand against the grain Wow, if that doesn't feel, if that doesn't feel awkward. <laughs> hmm. Definitely, definitely feels awkward. I, I'm trying my best to keep that angle trying my best to shave off that one side of the blade you guys think it's under hydrated obviously not <laughs> I don't know I think that if it doesn't like fall off the blade bullshit then it's not hydrated enough bullshit I don't know It's like, did you get a good shave? And what does it matter if the lather was quote unquote under hydrated? If you got a good shave, it doesn't matter. Now in this case, <laughs> I got fucking a nice memory line, but I think that's more so my, um, I don't think it was anything to do with the lather. It was more so I'm unfamiliar with Kamasuri. It has a very thin handle. It's not like the scales of a straight razor, which are rather large. It's not like the handle of like one of my D's or S's, which most of the time, you know, have some weight and knurling and they're even more substantial than this. This is a really low profile, thin, lightweight blade and as far as grip goes you know it, it does have that wrap on the handle which is better than nothing but I wouldn't say that it's like the most grippy um, instrument I've ever used the edge on it is very smooth like Paul did a great job but if you see I mean, that's how small it is. That's what we're working with here. So you really got to hold it kind of like a, kind of hold it really with a light touch, but that light touch, you still need to have the, the blade secure and, you know, you got to have a sure grip, but you don't want to have a death grip either because if you have a death grip, more often than not, you'll um, put too much pressure on your face while shaving, and that can cause irritation or cuts. So you want to have it 
loose and comfortable in your hands, but at the same time, it has to have a sure grip. It's almost like you have to have a certain confidence in holding the razor. And really, where there's more leeway, I would say, probably like with a regular DE or SE, I feel like holding it, even DEs and SEs, all razors, loose but confident grip, is probably for the best. No matter what format you're shaving with, I don't think there's any format that you need to be shaving with a fucking death grip on your razor. I mean, it well works for you, but I think that loose and confident grip is probably the best way to go about it. <clears throat> so, I did... I did have a comfortable shave, other than that one cut. It feels very smooth. I don't feel like big irritation. Um, my skin feels moist and hydrated immediately afterwards. I've always used an aftershave product with Moon Soap, so I can't really tell you <laughs> what the post shave is um, standalone. I imagine it's pretty decent if it's anything like the performance during the shave. I'm going to be using some A and E peach and cognac since I don't have the matching balm for Amaretto. We'll go ahead and pour it out the back, even though this label covers. This label art kind of goes almost the whole way around. And this is definitely different. It's peach heavy, but it has some warm notes. Really sweet. Um, I've definitely gotten an irritation tingle from this, and I don't think I've ever gotten an irritation tingle from any other fragrance oils out of any soap I've used over the years. Just this one. It's not enough to make me stop using it, because I do think it's, an, it's a very nice scent, but it's just something to be noted. I imagine if I put it on the lips, it'll definitely tingle, and I can feel a slight tingle on my cheeks and neck. Just slight, nothing crazy. I could start to feel it on my lips now that I wiped it on my lips too. Um, but definitely a great scent. Maybe if you easily get irritation from aftershaves um, scents, you know, fragrance oils really get you. Maybe peach and cognac ain't the one for you. But um, if you don't really get many reactions to uh, to fragrance oils. Peach and Cognac is a killer scent. Um, probably equally as killer is Moon Soap's Amaretto Special. Great almond cherry liqueur with some warm notes in it to make it more rounded. Um, gourmand, but still wearable in my opinion. I like gourmands though, so I might be biased. We used the Lancaster Bowl, a staple in my den, enough for a couple more passes. Doesn't look like I got all the soap off the sides either. Oh well, what are you gonna do? And then this gorgeous, very masculine handle from Luton Brushworks, Bloodwood and Black Walnut with a no hype badger knot that just shed a hair. But it's very it's a very comfortable badger knot. Very nice. Um, it's not the densest, but it gets the job done. So oh, I guess I also used mentholated pre-shave, which I love the stuff. Uh, I m purely use it just for a little bit of chill um, towards the beginning of my shave. That's about it. And it, it did the job for me. So, Kamasuri, badass, badass style of shaving. Very unique. I love learning again. So, I mean, I got to give this back to Paul, but Paul from Lather Me Whiskers, check him out. He definitely enabled me to go Kamasuri shopping. I fucking love that thing. And he, he makes a great edge on the gold dollar I borrowed from him and on the Kamasuri. He does a very comfortable edge, but it's sharp and it cuts. So there's that. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this one off where I started. 
with some three-way IPA. Cheers. I'll catch you tomorrow.